Okay. So um, I want to thank everybody for joining me today for this class. I want to honor your all's time and keep this um, very meat focused, but very, very, I talk fast. <laughs> so um, the, the fabulous women that are joining me live, um, I've said if they have questions, they can put it in the notes. Anyone who's catching this recording, if you have questions, comment on this video or um, just reach out to me because I'm here to answer questions. Um, I want to say that back in September, I wanted to get very intentional with um, uh, educating my Young Living team. And one of the things I was focusing on was wellness prepping. And I took this class that we had and I made it into five parts, starting out with us thinking about what we stock our wellness cabinet with, right? Um, Everybody has a medicine cabinet. We've heard of that for decades. Um, we don't necessarily hear that term wellness cabinet, which is neither here nor there, but I wanted us to start thinking about that. So over the next couple of weeks in early October, I started sharing a little bit about what you would put in your <laughs> wellness cabinet and why. And then all of a sudden in the beginning, the middle of October, um, I started not feeling well. That's the best way I can explain it. And I thought, is this because I've been traveling a little bit more and been driving longer distances as I'm healing and recovering from a traumatic brain injury. Is that just me just not doing well or, or what? Um, and so after a few days, my throat hurt worse. Uh, my coughing got worse and I just started just not feeling well. I'm sure we all feel that way where you're like, I'm, I'm fine to work, but I'm just not hundred percent. And um, I have allergies and it hits hard um, at the change of seasons when beautiful um, winter becomes glorious fall, uh, spring. I love spring, absolutely my favorite time of the year. Um, and then obviously when summer turns into fall, um, if you have those kind of things, you know what I'm talking about where your, your respiratory system is like, we don't like this change of season. So, and the thing is, I think some of those can all kind of come together and create a perfect storm in our body. Um, and so probably a little bit of my, my traveling and a little bit of stress as well as my allergies. And I just wasn't feeling well. And I got to the point, I woke up on a Monday morning. I remember it was October 18th. And in my shoulder area where we all hold our stress, especially at the end of the day, working on a computer, I, the best way I can explain it is if you've ever had a massage and you've not drinking enough drinking, <laughs> and if you've not drank enough water, you can, you, you're just like, oh, this is what the massage therapist meant when they said drink a lot of water today to flush out all those toxins. Cause it's those, you, it's like, it's as if your toxins are getting trapped in your muscles. That's how I felt. I felt like, like I had just toxins stuck in my muscles. And I thought, okay, you know what, this is, this is, it wasn't like I was red flag serious but, or uh, concerned, but I was like, okay, well, if I don't start upping my wellness game, then, then I'm not going to get better. It's just, it's just this is going to get worse. And so I'm a little chagrin being the um, oil infused um, freak that I am, that I didn't, <laughs> that it took me a couple days to reach for my oils, but I, I reached for my oils, I did. And so I want to, and I will put this for those who are watching this on a uh, recording, I will make sure you get this information as well. But for you joining um, on the, the Zoom Live, I just put in the notes a link to the protocols that I used. Um, I, am, I am my mother's daughter and I take copious notes. Um, and so I took copious notes over what I was doing and when I was, was doing it. And I and the piece of paper is not here in front of me. I don't even know where it is right now. But from that, from those notes, I, um, cre I created this wellness protocols. I wrote it out for you. I will admit um, that this protocol is, can be, um, there were other more things that I did than I put in the protocols. But I think it's a great starting place for someone who's like, I'm not using oils except in my diffuser. So it's a great starting out point. Now I do want to point out this. 
I am not a medical expert. I cannot treat, diagnose, nor cure. I am simply a 53-year-old woman who desires to reach wellness, conquer midlife, do so one pound, one inch, one hot flash, one emotion, and one step at a time. So these are things that work for me. But I have also seen some of these um, protocols that I've shared, especially when I'm talking about detox baths um, with Epsom salts. Um, I've seen other people have had success with this as well. So please understand results may vary. Um, with that though, I'm a huge fan of detox baths. Um, so I just wanna put that out there. So I started doing detox baths that day and I was doing um, Epsom salt and I was using different oils and they're in the, they are listed in that protocol handout that I, I, link, I put the link in that you'll have access to. <laughs> um, and I was doing, um, and I even said how often I was doing the um, detox baths and what I was using in each detox bath. Now, Epsom salt, you guys can get at the grocery store, you know, the dime store. Do we even use that term anymore, the dime store? That's what we used growing up. I don't know if we use that term so much anymore, but you can get Epsom salt really anywhere. Um, and here's a pro tip. When you are using essential oils in your bathtub, you do want to use essential oils because oil and water, you do want to use Epsom salt with your essential oils because oil and water, thank you, Alicia, thank you. Oils and water don't mix. So you're going to have your fabulous bath and you're going to put the water in it or the oils in there and it, they're not going to mix. So what you want, what I do is I put my Epsom salt um, in my, I, I put like a scoop. I don't measure, but I did put measurements in the protocol sheet. Um, I put the Epsom salt in my hand and then I put the drops of oil in the Epsom salt and then I put it into the water. And this way it is getting all mixed in and you're not having oil sit on top of the, of the water. So a little pro tip, I learned that a few years ago. Um, so I started taking detox baths and, and I started taking hot detox baths. And because I was feeling um, more that unwell in my shoulders, I made sure I was getting you know all the way up to my neck. Um, in, in taking baths. Before, I want to stick on the baths for just a second um, before I start talking about a couple other protocols and then get into the specific products I was using and why I was using. About day four, um, and I, uh, I reached out to um, a couple of my sisters, one who's actually joining us today, and I said, I really feel like as I'm doing these detox, like this morning, and this was like a Thursday morning, I thought, I need to do a revitalizing bath because I'm, I'm working on flushing out these toxins and it's like, I almost need to get revitalized or replenished. Um, it made me think about um, a parable in the, um, in the New Testament, which is in the uh, Bible uh, where um, Jesus talks about a man who was healed of having um, a bad spirit in him. So the spirit leaves. So, you know, he gets detoxed, if you will. This is how my mind works. Um, and because that man did not get anything to replenish himself, if you will, um, the spirit came back and thought, well, I'll check out that guy. He came back, saw that there was still a void. My words, I'm, believe me, I'm not, I'm paraphrasing this parable. I um, mean, he came back with more spirits. And so the man was again, inhabited with bad spirits. And so that was coming up in my mind. I'm like, I'm detoxing. I'm getting rid of all this stuff. I need to revitalize. I need to replenish myself. And so that day, in addition to doing a detox bath, I did a revitalizing bath and I used a different essential oil, which we beautifully call energy. <laughs> Cause I'm thinking if I'm detoxing, I need to get my energy up. And so um, energy was the blend that I was using. And I adore energy. It is a beautiful blend, obviously to take a revitalizing bath with. It is also a great um, oil to um, diffuse. I have my diffuser going. I've got to move my laptop because that's how I roll today. I have this beautiful diffuser going right there, right there. <laughs> and so um, that is what I mean when I say a diffuser. Because before I started using Young Living Essential Oils, I didn't know what a diffuser was. So, uh, but you put your, you know, a couple drops of your oils in there and it disperses into the air, gets into your body beautifully and energy obviously is helps with your energy. Um, so I definitely was doing the detox baths. Another thing that I started doing is I upped my game. I take 
Um, all my vitamins, like a good little girl, my super B, super C, and super D. Um, that's what Young Living calls them, but those are B, C, and D. And I started taking more. Um, and in the bundles that I'm going to talk about for how, which will help you easily get these products in your home to start building your wellness cabinet or enhance your wellness cabinet, whatever the case may be. Um, I did not list these three as products that you can buy, but you absolutely can buy. I'm assuming that some people probably already have um, a vitamin B, C, and D in their cabinet. And um, if you're like me, how I was raised, it's like, well, let me use what I have before I buy a new bottle. So that's why I didn't put that in there. But I will say this about our supplements. Um, and that is they're oil infused, which means their absorption rate is greater than the um, supplements that you're, you're potentially buying from the store. So I think the average absorption rate for vitamins is probably anywhere from 15 to 20%. And the absorption rate for um, Young Living supplements ranges anywhere from 40 to 60%. So you're definitely getting, you know, more value out of your money. So, but I did, I realized that today I'm like, oh, I need to put those on in the bundles, but that is something that is available to you. And if I would encourage you to be taking um, a vitamin B, a vitamin B, B is great for energy, also helps with mood elevation. Um, actually, I started upping my vitamin B, B as I've been struggling with emotions, um, because I incurred a traumatic event. Um, but I also been upping my, my C and D during that, this time I'm now back to taking my normal dosage. But when I was hitting it hard, when I was like really hitting, I was like, we're going to hit these symptoms hard. And I wasn't so much focused on my symptoms as I was like getting to the root of, you know, the problem, which was my, my opinion, in my opinion, my immune system needed some support. So I hit it with B, C, and D. And I also started taking some um, oils intentionally, or excuse me, internally. Um, and if that's something that's a little bit stretching for you, then you know what? Um, you know, you do you. You just get to your comfort level on, on um, what you want to take internally. I will point out that we do have, and this is in the protocol sheet, one of the things that I started doing, it's drippy, is mineral essence, because we are not getting in our American diet, we are probably not getting enough minerals in our body. And if you're like, well, what's the big deal about getting minerals in our body? Go, go, do, go do a quick little research on that. I do, I've done research on it and I've, I, didn't, I don't have any quick links for you guys, but getting extra minerals into your system is going to uh, benefit you, trust me. Now, I will, a spoiler alert, there are varying opinions on how this mineral essence tastes. My friend, Wendy loves it, but she loves this, I was gonna say color palette, but this taste palette. For me, I'm not necessarily a big fan of it, right? What I do though, because I know this stuff works is I take one of our capsules, our little empty gel caps, okay? Pop it open. And I'm gonna do this right, I haven't done it. I haven't taken it yet this morning because I wanna do it with you guys. And then I just take my little dropper and I fill it up. And so it's about a dropper that fits into this gel cap. I put this little gel cap on, voila. In my belly, or it's getting in my belly, doing all the good things. And I didn't have to taste it. <laughs> But mineral essence is one of the things that I started taking. Um, I was like, I need to get back. I, I was sporadic about it. So I started taking it daily, just one capsule. And now I'm back to doing, I'm like, I need to do that. So I'm taking one capsule right now. Um, the other things that I was doing, they're actually in the starter bundle. I was taking drops of Thieves and drops of lemon and even drops of frankincense. And yes, you can take frankincense internally. Now, I wanna pause this for a minute. You'll see some of these are beautifully labeled with a white label and some of them are these beautiful other colors. Young Living, 
um, the FDA says you can only have a bottle labeled for one use. But some of these oils, like lemon, frankincense, they have multiple uses. You can diffuse them, you can use them topically, and you can take them internally. So what um, Young Living did a few years ago to make sure that we stay compliant with what the FDA is wanting is um, we labeled, we pre-label bottles that say you can take them internally. And they are the blue bottle or the, the white labeled bottles. Now, if you if I I did mention that I took this frankincense, but we do have a frankincense vitality oil. Um, but I want to point out that it doesn't matter if it has, you know, like this right here. This is thieves. This is the thieves vitality, and this is the regular thieves. Inside these bottles is the same oil. Okay. So, but like I said, we're just saying we're you can take this internally, you can take this internally, but it's just showing you, like I said, to make sure we stay FDA compliant what you can take internally. Now, let's go back to what I was talking about. So I started with lemon, because lemon is great for detoxing, as is Thebes. I will get to the backstory of Thebes in just a minute. And frankincense is just great to have in your body because your our body is constantly, um, re, this, this is a big word, and I don't mean big word like you won't understand it, but I like it's a big word, constantly regenerating. I mean, that's amazing. And um, so frankincense gets in at a cellular level. And, and it's like when our body is being regenerated, we want to make sure we're putting good things in our body. So when it's regenerating, like good things being is going to be the end product. Um, we really are what we eat. Right. And so I was like, I need to get frankincense in because plus I've heard other oilers talk about taking capsules of frankincense and thieves. I'll be real honest with you. So I was, um, again, this is all on that protocol sheet, how much I was taking of each drop, but I was doing the frankincense and the thieves and the lemon. Now, um, frankincense is a blend and I want to, or excuse me, thieves is a blend. And I want to talk about thieves for just a minute. Thieves is a blend of lemon, clove, rosemary, cinnamon bark. So with the cinnamon bark, it does pack a little bit of uh, some heat, a little bit of a, some punch, if you will. Um, and it is the, um, I'll, I'll be quick with this, sorry. I wanted, to, I wanted to get into a big long story about it, but I'll be quick about it. So back in, during the bubonic times, there were some merchants who were thieving from the dying and the, and the dead and they weren't getting sick. And so they were asked, well, what are you doing? So you're not getting sick. And they're like, we're putting these botanicals around us. And so um, obviously not that exact same formula, but definitely some of those botan botanicals are within, in, within thieves. I am not saying that you use thieves and you will not get sick. So don't hear that. All I'm saying is, is that thieves is great just to help, basically help your inner defense. And so that is um, what I was doing some of the things that I was doing internally. Um, I was also doing digis because, <laughs> you know, I was raised, my mom, our mom, you know who I'm talking to in this video. She's just this really amazing prim and proper woman. And we never talked about number two functions, but I'm about ready to talk about number two functions. So obviously one of the things <laughs> that I didn't write about in my article on my, um, what I was doing to take care of myself, but I was having number two issues as well. And so I, uh, I also was taking Digize. Digize is great for just how it sounds, digestive support. And so I wanted to help flush out those toxins. Um, and so I was doing Digize. I will say this, I buy like Thursday or, well, by Thursday, so Monday is when it got to the height of like, I don't feel well. I actually slept a lot of the day. Um, and by Thursday, I was feeling better. And I actually was like, I need to take a revitalizing bath. You know, that's how, how I was much better. I was doing after just a few days of, of doing this, taking these different um, supplements and doing these different uh, baths. Another item that I have not talked about yet is Ninja Red. Ninja Red is our power packed with superfruits and oils and, uh, and some veggies um, drink that is great for, we always talk about it being antioxidant support. If you're wondering, okay, what's the big deal about 
antioxidant beverage, go look up free radicals. There's just two words, go look up free radical and then come back to me and I'll say to you two words, Ninja Red. You just need to get more Ninja Red in you. Um, and so Ninja Red is great for overall wellness. It also has very targeted support. Um, I know for me, it's had very targeted support for my eye health and my, my blood health. But, um, but for me, I was taking it that week for overall wellness because I also was like, you know what, obviously I'm depleted, like something, you know, I was probably being depleted. Uh, my energy levels are being depleted by the stress I'm under right now and have been under the last few months, um, just traveling more because with this injury and then obviously my allergies. So there may be, you may be like, yeah, I mean, I can relate. I feel depleted because of the stress I have going on. Um, with uh, just everyday life or, you know, and, it, and stress isn't necessarily from a bad thing. Some of my stress, you know, I'm just working more hours to, and, and with an injury and working more hours can be stressful. Um, so stress isn't necessarily always a, you know, always have bad reasoning. It's just a stress on your body. And, and when we do, I mean, think about it. If you don't change your oil in your car regularly, it's not going to work. If you don't put gas in your car, it ain't going to go. You know, if you're not taking care of your car, it's not going to run. We all get that. But we are all, especially some of you that have, you know, um, children or you are taking care of an elderly parent or a family member, or you're just, you know, in leadership at your job. It's like you take, you make sure everybody else is taken care of because that's how we are as women. We make sure everybody else is taken care of before we start taking care of ourselves. That can only last for so long. And at that, at some point you got to go, you know what, I, I, I've got to start taking care of myself and that's not selfish. You know, when we're on an airplane and they're like, okay, you know, the, the store, the airline attendants do the whole rigmarole. I love watching it when they do the plane exits. That's just my favorite part. Anyway, they talk about the oxygen masks coming down and like put the oxygen mask on you first before you put it on your child or you help somebody because you've got to have oxygen flowing through you before you can help somebody else. So that is also the posture in which I am. I always talk about that when I'm talking about Ninja Red, because that I, if, if someone said, Hey, Amy, of all the beautiful products that Young Living have between some of the food products or oils or supplements, um, their makeup, you know, if you could only choose one product, what would it be? And I would be like, it would be Ninja Red. <laughs> there are oils in here, but this is just overall support. And just my personal testimonies I've had with Ninja Red. I'm like, um, that's how passionate I am about it. And so Again, at the beginning where I was saying, um, you know, I was doing this five week uh, wellness prepping um, where the first week was about building your wellness cabinet. And then I was talking about how well is your body functioning? You know, we're talking about like, how well is your body functioning? And then the next uh, two, uh, um, the next two in the series were about thieves and about Ninja Red. This last one, I had to laugh that I'm like, oh, okay, I didn't know what I was going to talk. I thought the fifth series was going to be about just a summary. I had no idea it was going to be about my personal testimony with my well-being and using all the products that I had just been talking about. And the fact that, you know what, on that Monday when I wasn't feeling well, um, I had all of them in my house to be able to go to them. Um, you know, I had this, the, well, obviously I was taking the B, C, and the D, but I had an I was taking most of these. Okay, granted. But, you know, I had mineral essence in my house. I had probiotics. I had enzymes. Um, I had all of them in my house that I could start taking more of or even taking some of those oils internally and be intentional with it. Like, because I don't, I personally do not take thieves and frankincense and lemon every day uh, internally. Am I using them in some capacity? Yes, but it's like I had them in my house. And so that is a po also the posture I wanted to come out here and share with you. Um, is ninja acidic? Okay, so I'm getting a question, fabulous. Is ninja acidic for your stomach? I need more acid in my stomach to help with my digestion. Maybe this could help. Um, yes, it, it, it could help. I, I don't know, I would have to do some research as far as like, um, is it acidic for your stomach? I don't feel like it hits my stomach hard, um, but I understand your question. Like you need more acid in your stomach. 
Okay. Um, I'm going to have to, we'll have to talk offline about that. I, I don't know the answer to all of that. I think, because what comes to my mind is like when things are acidic, um, they hit my stomach hard and then they, I don't feel well from it. And I've never felt that way with things are red. So great question. And friend, we'll have to dialogue uh, about that. And if anybody else is hearing this and like, hey, Amy, I'd like to know the answer to that question. You need to reach out to me because I will be following up intentionally just with um, the person who asked this. So awesome, great question. And um, thanks for giving me homework, friend. <laughs> okay, so the other thing that, uh, in addition to protocol that I provided you, because, okay, I, I know one person can relate with this, but um, I'm neither a great cook nor a great baker, um, but I love getting recipes from people. And so someone who cooks all the time, if you say, or they bake all the time and you're like, oh my goodness, these cookies are really great. They'll be like, oh, it's so easy. And they'll list the recipe right there. And you're just like, you might as well have said that in Greek because I don't understand a word you just said. <laughs> right or you know are they are there a cook I'm like oh no it just is like that i mean I, i'm like you are on another frequency i mean i love it but i've got i got to the point where i'm like this is a great recipe and if i really want it i'll be like could you write that down or blades i get pen and paper and so that is a, that's the posture of like why i did those protocols where i wrote those out for you and why i was really intentional when i wasn't feeling well to write those down because i didn't want to be like hey I went feeling well. So I did this and I did this and I did these oils and I did this oil because someone who, um, who, who maybe use oils a lot, they're like, yeah, I'll remember that. But other people are like, you just spoke on a totally different frequency, but I want to know what it is that you're talking about. So that's why I did that protocol um, sheet. But that is also why I created two different bundles. Um, and I will make sure that these bundles get included um, when I share the recording of this video, but I'm going to put it here for you guys as well. And it is um, <laughs> named them really easy for us, which really means really easy for Amy. I named one of them the wellness, or excuse me, well-being starter kit. And I named the other one the well-being master kit. Um, and these are the two bundles I was telling you about that I did not add the B, C, and D, but you absolutely can add them to your order. But in the um, starter kit, it has everything that we've been talking about, or I've been talking about. Um, the well being starter kit, it has um, the premium, the oils premium starter kit, because you guys, I used all of these oils during that time. I already told you how I was using lemon and how I was using, I'll stand up and do this, how I was using thieves. I was also putting peppermint on my face because it just, my head, my forehead was just so stuffy. I was using citrus fresh and digize internally. I was diffusing uh, uh, raven. I was diffusing lavender at night for sleep. I was using frankincense in um, internally. Stress away, I use it every day, but I use it every day for um, 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 affirmation protocols and same with Valor. Um, so these are oils that you will literally use every day and it comes with a diffuser. So um, in the starter kit, it starts with the oils, but then I also have you getting um, two bottles of Ninja Red and I also have you getting um, oils that I've talked about for the baths. And that are that's the oils, M Green, Tea Tree, Purification, and a lantern diffuser. You want, uh, in my opinion, having two diffusers in your home is um, really wise. You can have one that stays in your bedroom and then you can have one that is in your living room. And then when I actually, when I am um, taking a detox bath, I put one of my, well, I actually keep a diffuser in my bathroom. Okay, so I do. But anyway, but you, but be diffusing Raven during your, your bath times, which I put in the protocol sheet. So just so you know, but those are all you know, purification is for sure. You need in tea tree, you need those are great for purification. The master kit has everything that I just mentioned. I also added a couple um, other items, and that is Life Nine, a probiotic, which is great for your stomach um, and your digestive system, and Essential Zymes Four. 
both of these are great for your um, digestive system. And enzymes literally, as I've done research on enzymes, enzymes literally help us do everything in our body. It's crazy. <laughs> I was like, wow, we do not talk about enzymes enough because they literally help us do everything. Um, and then I had a couple more um, oils in the master kit, and that is energy, which I've talked about, and then Melrose, which is an oil, it's a blend. We do not talk about enough, in my opinion. Um, I, and I didn't talk about enough right now. Um, Melrose is a blend. I use this daily. I'm either diffusing it or applying it topically. Um, so yeah, Melrose. So that is the difference between the starter kit or the, the master kit. And I want to point out anytime that you're ordering over 100 PV with Young Living, you are getting free shipping. And then if you meet our um, PV promo levels, you also do get free oils. Um, and this month, the free oils are, re are really fabulous. Um, Teresa, do you have a question or did you just raise your hand? Just let me know. Um, working the Zoom on the phone is sometimes, I know, kind of tricky for me. If you have a question, Teresa, just one second. I want to go over the oils that you're getting free this month. So the oils that are free this month at the various PV levels, and I, um, I don't have the PV levels right at the top of my head, but gathering and gratitude, I believe, are the two that, no. Okay. Some of these are like at the 250. Gratitude, gathering, and myrrh. And myrrh is a great um, facial oil. Um, gratitude, because we need to be thankful in all things. And gathering, you guys, this is a must. Any oiler needs this. Because Gary, Gary Young designed this. Um, when he was talking to a couple women on the plane, he's like, What's your, what is your biggest wellness need? Like, what, could, what, what do you need? And they were like, we really need chaos to go away. And so it took him a couple years, but gathering is a chaos kicker. He created gathering to kick the chaos, which the name is just, doesn't really tell you that, but I'm like, it's really awesome. And the other two are believe and hope. Um, and hope I use every day in my affirmations because I am believing for a hope-filled future. So um, anyway, those are the oils that are free this month. Um, and those are available um, when you do a subscribe to save order. Um, some of those are only available on subscribe to save. And then also when you do just a shop order. So I am um, going to, in the recording, obviously I'm here for you if you have any questions um, or concerns. And that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the recording, but I'm not ending the Zoom.